guys it's me active exploit back again with a new video uh, and in today's video we are going to have a look at a tool known as invoke obfuscation and uh, it is a really great tool made for obfuscating powershell scripts right uh, which can be useful in uh, you know e uh, evading antiviruses right uh, so firstly i'll start off by uh, showing you how you can install the tool uh, and then i will finally jump to the usage of it right so with that being said let's get started Alright, so um, what is Invoke Obfuscation? So Invoke Obfuscation is a PowerShell script um, which is made for obfuscation of um, other PowerShell scripts, right? And uh, it is a really great tool for pen testers as we can use it for obfuscating our PowerShell malware, right? Uh, and uh, it can be cloned from GitHub. So first, uh, let's actually get start, uh, started off by the installation process. So you can just open up your preferred search engine and uh, just search up for invoke dash obfuscation so you should see the first link which is a github repository uh, and uh, you so just click on it and uh, if you have git installed you can clone this repository on windows uh, or else you can just download it uh, as a zip file right in my case i'm just going to download this as a zip file uh, sorry for the browser over here it's actually stuck i don't know why my vm is a a bit slow right so please don't mind that so uh, i got my invoke obfuscation.zip file uh, over here and i can just you know extract it uh, over here and after the extraction is done we can just start using the tool right so you see a bunch of you know uh, powershell uh, scripts over here so you actually uh, need powershell uh, in order to run this so i'm just going to uh, fire up powershell uh, Sorry guys if my uh, VM is a bit slow, I don't know why uh, my Windows VM is very much slow today. Well, it's so I got my PowerShell open and uh, in order to uh, use the Invoke Obfuscation tool, we first actually have to uh, go to the downloads directory and I can just go to the Invoke Obfuscation master directory over here. And now, uh, first of all, you actually have to import this uh, Invoke Obfuscation.psd1 script. Uh, in order to start using the tool right so you can just type import module uh, dot slash invoke obfuscation dot psd1 and it should directly import the module uh, in powershell right now you can just type invoke obfuscation in order to start the tool and there we go we got the tool running right So uh, we have the tool started and uh, now how can we actually you know start to obfuscate our PowerShell commands or scripts right but firstly let me tell you something about the modules in this tool right so first we have the token option over here uh, which basically is going to obfuscate the PowerShell command tokens in the script right and then we have the ASD option over here uh, which basically obfuscates PowerShell ASD nodes and uh, this requires PowerShell 3.0 or above right. Uh, and then we have the string option which basically obfuscates an entire command as a string right and then we have the encoding option so the encoding option is uh, is basically you know uh, it obfuscates one entire command uh, via the encoders available in the tool right and then we have the compress option which basically compresses the entire command to a one liner uh, right and finally we have the launcher option which obfuscates the command line arguments in the specified script uh, with uh, the launcher techniques right now let's actually have a look at the help menu above uh, so if we type tutorial we should uh, uh, see the usage of how can we use this tool right uh, and then we have the help command which basically displays the uh, this help menu over here right and then we have the show options command which basically shows us the modules uh, uh, for the payload to obfuscate right and then we have the clear screen command which basically uh, clears the output on our terminal right uh, then we have the execute command which basically executes the obfuscated command locally uh, next we have the copy command which uh, copies the obfuscated command uh, to our clipboard right uh, and then we have the out command which basically uh, it writes the obfuscated command to the disk uh, then we have the reset command which resets all obfuscation uh, applied for the obfuscated command right and then we have the undo command uh, which basically you know it uh, undoes the last obfuscation applied for the obfuscated command right 
and then we have the back command which goes back to the previous obfuscation menu and finally uh, we have the quit command uh, which it, it basically exits out of uh, out of the tool right all right so now let's start obfuscating our scripts right so firstly we actually have to set a script path uh, or else the script block right so the script block is basically a piece of code which you want to obfuscate and uh, in script path you basically uh, specify a direct url to uh, to your uh, raw powershell script which you want to obfuscate right so first uh, let's have a look at the uh, the script block one so in order to set the script block all you have to do is type set and then you type script block and then the particular powershell command which you want to obfuscate so i can just uh, type write host uh, oops not underscore host and i can just you know type something called hello world right so as you can see it says that successfully set script block uh, but let's say that you are following the uh, script path method uh, uh, then uh, the syntax still remains the same in that case right so it would be something like a uh, set script path and uh, the url to a script let's say http url uh, to script uh, and then we have the raw.ps1 or any powershell script which you want to set right so now we actually have to choose a module for obfuscating our powershell command which, which we just uh, set in the script block right uh, so pre previously when we started uh, the tool i already explained you what these options are so let's actually uh, have a look at the token module first so if i type token you will notice that uh, you get more options to, to choose right so we have the string uh, uh, option over here token string uh, which basically obfuscates the string tokens uh, in the command and then we have the token command which basically obfuscate the command tokens in the script uh, and then we have the argument option which obfuscates the argument tokens uh, we have the member option over here which uh, obfuscates the member tokens and then we have the variable option which obfuscates all the variable tokens uh, and so on right uh, also if you notice we have an all option over here which basically selects all the choices from the above options uh, and uh, it basically runs all of them in a random order right so let's actually have a look at the string one first and uh, it again gives us two options uh, when we type string so we have the concatenate and then we have the reorder one uh, sorry if i didn't pronounce that correctly it's actually concatenate uh, and we have the reorder one so if we type one uh, it's going to apply the uh, token string one the first uh, module over here which is concatenate one right and as you can see it uh, concatenates uh, the strings in the uh, script block and we have the result over here so we can just copy this and you know uh, if we open up powershell again and uh, if we run it over here as you can see our script uh, runs successfully right now let's actually have a look at other bunch of options so if i type clear and if i type options it should uh, li list out me the options which we set before so now let's actually type back in order to go to the previous menu uh, we have the command option next so let's actually have a look at the command one now so if i type command uh, we get other three options so we get the text one uh, we get the splatting plus concatenate one uh, we have the splatting plus the order one so uh, i'm not going to uh, you know cover all of uh, all these three let's actually have a look at the third one which is the splatting plus reorder one so if i type three uh, as you can see we get the results so uh, this is pretty much obfuscated uh, so if, if you you know just copy this and uh, paste this in powershell as you can see the script runs successfully so uh, now let's have a look at the all one which basically selects all the choices from the above options uh, in a random order so if i type back and if i type all we get one option over here which is the only option and it, it is basically the execute all token obfuscation techniques in random order so if i type one uh, as you can see uh, it basically uh, obfuscated the seven string tokens uh, in the uh, uh, specified uh, script block right and uh, it basically applied all the uh, options over here available over all the options available over here right uh, in in a random order so we have our obfuscated command over here we can just copy this and if you go back type cls paste this 
as you can see we get the output hello world so uh, that's all for the token one now let's have a look at the uh, other module all right uh, now let's actually have a look at the string module uh, but first note that I won't be covering all of the modules in here because uh, it's going to take a lot of time right uh, you can just try all of these modules on your own and uh, see them in action right so uh, now let's actually first of all reset our script block before trying out the string option so I got uh, a reverse shell code uh, one line of uh, reverse shell code from github uh, I can just copy this and just set the script block to our newly, uh, newly reverse shell code over here uh, right and as you can see it says successfully set script block so now you can just type out the string command and uh, as you can see we get three options over here so first one is the concatenate entire command so it basically concatenate, concatenates uh, the entire command right uh, then we have the uh, second option which basically reorders the entire command after concatenating and then we have the third option which basically reverses the entire command after concatenating it right so now let's actually have a look at the first one uh, which is the concatenate entire command and as you can see it concatenates the entire uh, one line reverse shell over here uh, now I won't be executing this because of course I'm not listening for incoming connections uh, but you can actually try this on your own right and of course this is actually going to get detected because of a AMSI um, uh, uh, because of course you know uh, MZ is going to de uh, detect some of the common strings in here such as the IP address um, and the uh, unity port over here so you know it won't work you actually have to uh, work on this PowerShell uh, reverse shell code on your own uh, or maybe you know heavily obfuscated so that antiviruses cannot identify it right so now let's actually go back and have a look at the encoding module but first of all I'll actually have to undo the uh, obfuscation with we which we had done right so if I type options again as you can see our script block is back to what uh, it was before when we had set it uh, so now let's actually have a look at the encoding um, option over here so if I type encoding so as you can see we get couple of encoders over here we get the ASCII one we have the hex octal binary and so on uh, now let's actually have a look at the first one which is the ASCII one so I can just type one and as you can see it encodes the whole PowerShell script block into ASCII now if you actually copy this and open up a new PowerShell prompt and execute it uh, you should get a reverse shell right uh, so uh, now let's actually have a look at the hex one which is over here uh, but firstly I'm uh, going to undo the obfuscation which we applied lastly and I can just type 2 and press enter and as you can see this uh, encodes the whole command into uh, hex right and once again you can just copy this open up a powershell prompt execute it over there and you should get a reverse shell right so finally let's actually uh, you know have a look at the binary one which is the fourth one uh, so if I type undo and type 4 it's going to encode the whole command as binary right so as you can see we get a very huge output so we can just copy this once again uh, paste it in a powershell prompt execute it right so I'm just going to undo this again go back clear the screen and as you can see uh, now we have the compress option so uh, it basically converts the entire command to one liner one liner and compresses it uh, so if I type compress we get the first option over here which is convert entire command to one liner and compress right so I can just type one and as you can see uh, it basically compressed the whole uh, command which we specified in the script block and it compressed it to a one-liner right so we can copy this uh, open up a powershell prompt and execute it right all right so uh, guys that's all for today's video i uh, hope you enjoyed it also please make sure to leave a like and uh, to please make sure to subscribe to the channel um, as we are very much close to 1000 subscribers right so a subscribe would be appreciated so that's all goodbye everyone and i'll see you all in the next video